So it may not be everybody's favorite day, but cardio can be very enjoyable. So for today's video, I want you to maybe put on a little bit of music. So I'm gonna talk just a little bit first. So if you just wanna put something really quick on your iPhone or you wanna just put it on some music really quick, go ahead. Um, the idea of this is, this is a short interval. This is only, again, my goal is to do a 10 minute workout where you feel productive, but you're able to just get it done. So what I'm gonna be doing is we're gonna do intervals that you can either do jogging or walking, depending on your fitness level, between intervals. And the idea of having the interval is to just elevate the heart rate a little bit more. So it's gonna be elevated through the intervals that we're doing and overall until we're completed, but you also wanna have little mini spikes that put a little demand on your system and it gives you a little bit more of a you know, um, higher metabolic rate even when you're done. So you're gonna burn more calories today just by doing this workout with a little bit of intervals because the overall period of time is really only gonna be 10 minutes total versus then 25, 30 or more minutes, okay? All right, so we're gonna just warm up where you're gonna just walk in place and this is where you are kind of setting your mind ready to do your workout for today. Now, again, you want to get to a point, now depending on your fitness level, if this is cleared by your physician, you know yourself, you're responsible for going the intensity level that is the best for you. So, if you are starting out, you need to keep it kind of slower and you keep it a low knee march. If you are already um, higher level in your fitness, the higher you bring your knees up, the more intense it's gonna be or the faster it's gonna be. So this is our reset. So if you're getting to this point and you're just starting out, stay here and if not, you're going to start to run in place a little bit. So my arms are moving up and down, my shoulders again are relaxed. Remember that's always something that you wanna do in this. Hair starts to fall out of your ponytail a little bit. You can have a down or not, but you should still be able to talk to me during this period of time. So if you just kind of slow down, go ahead and breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth, and you just relax. You're putting the energy into your legs and you are also required to have all the oxygen go there. You don't need to be doing anything up here. That's just along for the ride. Okay, so we're gonna come back to our walk and that was just one easy first interval. You don't wanna go really hard right in the beginning, depending on what time of day you're doing this. If you're just waking up and you're cold, your muscles are cold, I mean, <laughs> you just go ahead and increase the intensity when you're ready. This is about getting to know your body, but this is about a little bit of movement. So when we do these next intervals, you are, want you to kind of get a little bit more breathless as we do it because we are gonna do a certain number of reps and you should be able to, you know, still talk to me. Shouldn't feel any chest pain, you know the drill. But you wanna kinda of push a little bit the more and more you do this sequence. Big deep breath, inhale. Exhale it out. Big inhale up. Exhale it out. Okay, so we are going to do a side step. So I'm gonna back up here. What you're gonna do is a jog. This is very similar to what I do in my Pio live class, is we're gonna be doing a jog to a side lunge. Okay, so it'd be running, and you'd step one way together, the other way together, back to running. Now again, as I told you, you can continue to keep it at a walking pace, okay? So here we go. We're gonna run for eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, another eight. Stay here, two, three, four, another eight before we lunge to the left. Here we go. Lunge, center, lunge, center, lunge, chest is up. Keep going in four and three and two. Get back to a run or jog. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we stay here for a full 32 count. Knees can go higher if you can. One, two, three, get ready for that side lunge. Lunge, center. Chest is up, going lower in the legs, makes it harder. And together, <clears throat> back to the run or walk. 
32. Now, if you are not feeling breathless, lift those knees up a little bit. If you are feeling out of breath, just slow down. Here we go. We got one more interval after this before we go back to our walk or slow jog. Try to stay with me. <coughs> Take offs. <laughs> Clear those airways. Last interval. <sighs> You're doing great. Shoulders are relaxed. Energy is going to the legs. <sighs> Last eight. Lunge. Here we go. Center. Good. Three. And again. Two. And last one. Nice job. Walk. Now for here, you're recovering. <sighs> but that's what I was talking about with that little spike. Okay? But you want to recover. Bring the heart rate down just a little bit. You can feel that. So this is what I mean. The movements can be the same. You just increase the intensity level by going slower or faster, going deeper into the motion or more shallow. Okay, recover a little bit. Nice deep breath again. One more. All right. Now I know you guys are afraid of these, but we are going to do a modified burpee to start. And then we are going to a full burpee if you can, all right? If you never did them before, stay with the modifier. If you are up with me, you're going to the full burpee, okay? So you go from a squat to a lunge. Squat, lunge, squat, lunge. Stay low. This is what's still giving you demand. You do a nice, almost like if you did martial arts. You're doing that hook. All right, we're gonna stay here again. Go low if you're a higher fitness level. If you are easier, just stay higher, right? This is about feeling good, doing something good for your body. All right, now stay here, or we're going to the floor. Here we go. Down, back, and up, down, back, and up, down, back, and up. All right, back to the march. Here we go. How did it go? You guys are doing great. We are going to do another set of those burpees, okay? So if you want, just watch me on this one. If you're looking to do something a little bit higher, now again, take advantage here. If you're a runner, jog, okay? While I demonstrate, this is between a modified standing burpee and the burpee when you go bring your feet back, okay? So it would look like this, here we go. Down, down, up, up, walk. And we go down, down, back, back, up, okay? So you pick your poison. Let's finish this strong, okay? Here we go. Down, back, arms overhead. Down, back, bellies tight. You are parallel to the ground. One more. Nice job. Here we go, let's run. Okay, fast walk, knees are high. You're pushing to the end. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bam! Nice job. Okay, now you don't want to immediately stop. I wanted to take you through an interval that would be a full 10 minutes that is physically safe. Again, this is important. You need to know yourself. You need to know what you're medically cleared for. You are not somebody that's gonna jump in, go hard, unless you have that experience and your physician has cleared you for that activity. Okay, deep breath. So you want to, when you're done, slowly bring your heart back down. You don't wanna just go to the next thing. Take care of your body. You warm it up, you work it, you cool it down. Okay, so now we're gonna just slow down a little bit more. Nice, easy steps. Exaggerate your arms. Nice deep breath again. In through your nose, out through your mouth. Be so incredibly grateful to be able to work your body. Know that you are giving 
every ounce of energy towards the systems that need it. It will absolutely debilitate you if you ignore it. And you cannot let that happen. You need to be able to cardiovascularly work your heart and lungs. And burning fat is just the bonus, right? So you have to work those systems in order to preserve the functionality of your entire body. Without your heart, without your brain, without your lungs, nothing else matters. Okay, now that you've stopped, just take one deep inhale up, arms overhead. And let's do one more and bring the arms right back to your heart. I love this part of my class when we close down. I say great, great job.